Let's take a look at the text mining node itself. The text mining node is a node that allows us to pass free text into the node and produce uh, fielded uh, data information about the text that can then be used by analytical software and, and algorithms. And in the first tab of the text mining node, we're essentially telling the system where the files are that will be used. And because we have files located in folders, we're actually uh, instructing the system that the, these are path names to the files. If text was in uh, a, a field in a SQL database, we would, we would choose actual text. The next tab allows us to tell the system whether we simply want the text mining node to generate an output nugget, which is a, another node through which free text is passed. Uh, the output from that nugget will be uh, that fielded data that can be used by analytical software or, and we'll be doing this in this case, whether we want to work interactively with the extracted terms and information so that we can build a, a customized uh, nugget that will be more effective for our application. Uh, the baseline uh, extraction technique is building categories. We're going to select that, but we'll be looking at the other two techniques as part of what we do. The other important thing in this tab is the resource template. The resource template is the screen, uh, in a sense, uh, through which the free text is passed. And rules, parameters, and instructions are applied to the text as it comes in. And uh, the, the categorical information, the terms, concepts, relationships, are defined using that screen. The model comes with a set of base templates, and they're a good place to start. Generally, though, you're going to want to uh, create a, a, a specific template which you build upon a basic template, uh, one of the, the, the default templates, and then save. So you can actually and, and, and probably will modify your templates and we'll see how we do that. But it allows you to get a better uh, a, te a template that's more customized to your, your, your document set and your needs. In the expert tab, we're going to be taking a look. The, there are variables uh, and parameters in here that can be changed. Uh, the default would include extracting non-linguistic entities, and I, and I point this out because what this essentially means is that as part of the extraction process, the system will look for dates, social security numbers, credit card numbers, location, uh, I'm sorry, locations are linguistic, uh, for um, uh, numbers, for uh, other non-linguistic entities that are contained within the text. And that can be very useful, especially if you're looking to do ent entity extraction. But here we're not going to be doing that, so I'm going to deselect that. And I'm going to apply it. And now we're ready to run the text mining node. We're ready to hit the run button on the text mining node. And what is going to happen now is that the modeler application is opening up um, the sub-application, which is the text mining interactive screen. And in a moment, what we'll see is the, uh, the next interactive palette, if you will, for uh, text mining analysis itself. And it's telling us here for that 100 records, and it did it very quickly because there's only 100 records, it's pulled out some of the data. And uh, the first thing I would point out is in the lower left quadrant are the concepts or terms that are extracted according to the rules set up in that template we talked about the total number of occurrences, total number of documents, and the type of term it is. The, the default templates come with a uh, set of types, including, for instance, down here, person, and location, and unknown. In this case, since we pre-built an Enron uh, template, we've created a uh, type called boilerplate, which is the boilerplate for, from uh, many of the emails and actually in this case for many of the documents because the, the uh, Enron uh, production, the processing was done by uh, Zeal Technologies which did a really good job in, in converting the Enron uh, data set into a usable processed set of data. And, uh, but we don't want to use that as part of our analysis because it's not going to tell us very much or anything about the, the uh, true content of the documents. And we can sort on any of these and, uh, and get an idea if you'll notice the, a lot of the boilerplate, including this probably should be in there also, uh, is in the high occurring categories and that's not uncommon. So this is the first view we get of the extracted 
text, these terms and phrases, which terms are uh, identified and extracted is based upon the rules that are set forth in the template, which we can modify and customize for our needs. Now, in category building, which is the building of categories that will be used in that output nugget, uh, we simply can, uh, in the simplest case, tell the system to build from the, the terms that are generated below. And it will do that. We can edit uh, the, that, the building process and tell the system, for instance, which types we don't want included. And we can also tell it some uh, pretty advanced things about how we want the extra extraction and the categorization to occur. And here I'm going to, for instance, create a maximum levels. These are subcategories within categories. And uh, we'll leave it at that. But now we're, we're ready to execute the build categories. Again, the system will do that. We're only dealing with 100 documents, so it's a very quick process. The text mining node is not made to analyze entire document sets. It's made to analyze sample sets and then use the output nugget, uh, leverage it across the entire uh, document set in question. So here we have a set of categories that the system has identified, applying its rules, some of which uh, uh, we have included as, uh, in, the, uh, in the Enron template. But in a sense, it's using its rules, its knowledge of, of the terms, to, and it's the, the, the uh, collection of terms that appear together in documents to, to try to bundle those together. These are all modifiable, and as part of the process, one would generally modify these. And this is the category uh, 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 derivation application, but it's only one of uh, three different things that can be done. And the next thing we're going to do is the text analysis application.